I'm Adam Laufer with World Tree Houses. Um, again, we're talking about selecting trees for a tree house. And after you've had a preliminary look at your trees on your property, you have a sense that, wow, this would be a really magical place to build something that will help us once again connect to this uh, beautiful living world that we're in and we get permission from the trees to do such a thing. Uh, we would come out and the site visit and you know look at everything you've been looking at whether the trees hollow how big it is its neighbors around it the ecosystem around it the hickory has been a wonderful hardwoods here in the east coast very tall straight tree um, and this is an ideal candidate for building a structure in of course with the tree's permission. In terms of other types of trees we could use, most of the hardwoods here are gonna be able to support the structure. Softwoods can work too. Tulip poplar is a soft hardwood. Um, when you get into some of the evergreens and firs, um, the fibers of those trees are a little bit less strong, so you'd have to figure out some different engineering and to see if it would actually be able to support the structure. But then, after we have a good look at it and it looks good, the next best thing is to get a consulting arborist out there for a professional opinion and a second opinion in case we've missed something. Sometimes they will see something since they are the experts in uh, the diseases of trees and the health of trees. They will say, wow, this is really stressed out. I could see, look over there because the, the soil is bulging. It looks like it's about to fall over. I'm like, oh, I didn't see that. So maybe that was caused by some storm damage or maybe it was done because there was a drain nearby it that put all the sediment on top of something and caused some stress there. So it's always great to have a consulting arborist out there. Keep in mind what you're trying to build is going to affect the tree so you want to be as gentle as possible. Hopefully that answers some of your questions today. And uh, that's it for now.